Welcome everyone. Good to have you guys here. Good to see you all. Um, we're gonna go ahead and answer hopefully any questions you guys have. I'll try to, I may not know the answer, but we can also do some experimenting. I'm on my tutorial map here. I'm gonna go ahead and actually, we'll save it here before we ruin it. Um, <laughs> there you go. But good to see you guys in the chat. Um, good to have you guys joining us today. Uh, we got all sorts of people in there. Marty, Jason, Jack, Jack, um, Milance, Jack Getty says, man, I'm tired. Oh, look, 43 left. Uh, Iceberg, good to see you, my friend. Tom Robert, Joss, good to see you. William Rhodes, good to see you. Tony, 2013, FL, good to see you. Waylon, good to see you, my friend. Excuse me, geez. Oh, boy. Uh, not enough coffee. I got my Farmer Cap shirt on. Woo! And I got my, of course, the Farming Sealer hat on. Uh, thank you guys for joining us today. Um, if you are here with us, please make sure you guys hit that like button. It does go to help support the channel a ton. We'll be streaming for about two hours-ish or so or whatever. Or whatever the case may be, but yeah. Can we have a desk pop as Jason's question number one? Uh, Jack Eddie says, does Farmer Cop eat donuts since he's a cop? Of course I do. Uh, Terry Cole says, little FC and others. Uh, Lucas says, hi, ignore cop. Good to see you. Uh, Daniel says, hi, I'm just here for gameplay. Really don't have a question. That's all right. That's fine. Uh, did they improve horse control? Great question. Let's go ahead and take a look at horses. So I actually have some horse pens here because I was going to record my horse tutorial. So we'll buy one. Um, and also three videos just posted on my channel. If we go up here... And we hit ride. Now, one thing, look up there at the daily riding. The horse controls are fine. I mean, it's very similar. But if I go up, look how fast that daily riding is going up. If I go really fast here, it's going up really quickly. Now, if I go back down to this. It actually, I think, maybe it goes up the same speed. Maybe I'm just crazy. No, it goes up faster if you ride faster. Yeah, definitely faster. So, if you change your speed... Um, it, it, that'll vary how fast your horse will train, if that makes sense for the day. But horse controls are fairly straightforward. It's very similar. Um, but otherwise, yeah. But here's another good thing I've noticed here. If I'm out here, I hop off. It doesn't just pop back into the pen. If I even go into the menu here and I go to look at my animals, there's no animals in my pen. And if you remember, we had it in this pen. I haven't actually tried this. Let's see if we can switch it to a different pen if we ride it to a different pen. Your camera is covering it up. What am I, what is it covering? Oh, it's covering up my, oh yeah, you're right. Good point, good point, good point. Let's do uh, just this to make it a little simpler. You guys should be able to hear me if I do this real quick. Yeah, y'all can still hear me? Yeah, okay, so let me just go back and look at the horse controls again. Somebody, all right, stop it. You stuck? You stuck on that. There we go, all right. So horse controls, canter, I can hit W down, uh, or S down, W up. So you can go back and forth, jump. But the daily riding, look how fast that's going up. And then if I go down to just a walk, look how slow it goes up comparatively. Even then it still goes up faster, but yeah. Uh, Mark, good to see you. Cody, good to see you. Dust Bunny, good to see you. But yeah, hopefully that answers some of your questions about that. How to use the McCormick tractor. We can take a look at the McCormick. Um, but yeah, let me go ahead and we'll go back into um, here. And I got my crash counter fixed. So if I leave the screen, it'll go into something else. But let's see if we can... Oh boy, we're going too fast. Too fast. Too fast. Uh, let's see if. Well, what does this show actually? Does that? Yeah, it still kind of covers up everything, uh, which is unfortunate. It's un super unfortunate that it covers up every all the help commands there. Uh, but yeah, so if we're in this pen, I haven't tried this. Okay, so it actually switched pens. Did you guys see that? So if you ride to a different pen, it'll sw switch pens that you're in. It'll switch what pen your horse is in. Uh, call me what I missed. Not much, Daniel. It's good to see you. Uh, Outsiders, good to see you, my friend. Um, okay, so we want to look at the McCormick. What else we got in here? Uh, thanks, Firewalker. Good to have you joining us. Uh, plant growth speed. There's no. No, you can't. I don't think you can. There's no growth speed controls. Um, there's no growth speed controls. So I don't think you have any way to control it. Um, well, a little bit. Technically, if you have seasons off, it'll grow faster because you don't have to wait for the seasons to go through it'll just be a certain amount of days and what i have noticed it's about i think it's like about four days for regular crops to be ready to harvest that's what i've kind of noticed but i could be wrong about that so uh yeah just to note that uh but there's no other way to slow it down or speed it up if that makes well you can slow it down in seasons if you make the seasons or make the months like 28 you ride like you drive love it that's right that's probably a crash we'll probably put that on there there we go we'll, <laughs> a horse wouldn't make that sound when it crashed but we'll put it in there as a crash uh, okay, so we wanted to take a look at the McCormick. So if we go into uh, D, F, G, H, I, J, K. I don't know the alphabet. Here we are, McCormick, okay. So McCormick, uh, we'll grab... 
That one has a front loader option. Uh, what do you want to know about it? As far as how it drives, I mean, we can take it out and take a look at it. Uh, we'll go ahead and buy it. So here's how the McCormick looks. Drives nice. Uh, what about feed? Does it go zero if you switch pins? Oh, great question. We didn't test that really, did we? Uh, we can take a look at that here in a second. Here's the McCormick. I hit C, so my game froze for a second there, but inside cab controls. Pretty sweet tractor, I think. Little bit trying to load all that in out there as we're going in like some crazy circles here, but always pretty good. I like that. Okay, so feed, feed, feed. Let's go ahead and grab some feed. I don't think I had any feed in, well actually that, no, did I have feed in that pen? It keeps the, it doesn't transfer the feed because I know, I know and now I know it doesn't transfer the feed. It just keeps the feed because I already had feed and this feed was already in this pen. So it doesn't transfer the feed over like the horse would transfer over. It just transfers everything else over, which let me. Camera a little bit there, a little bit better. Nope, not quite. More centered. Uh, not really. I think I've made it worse. But anyhow, that's fine. Uh, okay. What about Matsy's laugh for crash? That would be really funny if it was Matsy's laugh. Uh, math and language issues, of course, Josh. Is the game locked at uh, 60 FPS? I think so. I have the command. So yeah, I think it's locked at 60. I don't know if there's any way to change that. It does seem to be locked at 60 FPS. I'll say that. It does seem to be locked there. If you are just joining us, make sure you guys hit that like button. It does go to help support the channel a ton. Uh, thank you, Emery. I appreciate that. A big thumbs up from Wales, my friend. I'm enjoying it so far. Having a multiplayer. Yeah, we'll be doing multiplayer... Uh, What's it, 0 to 60? It doesn't have a 0 to 60, like, so it won't go to 60, but yeah. And Jason says, Giants will be fixing any bugs that we currently have. So yeah, Jason, or um, Giants is still working on fixing stuff that we come across. Like, I know I watched the, the Farm Sim guy's uh, animal video and some pigs were out running outside of the pen, which is pretty funny, but yeah. Um, okay, let me see if you guys have any other questions in here. Uh, GSXR, yeah, I'm going to be putting out a lot of different... Excuse me, a lot of different beginner videos. Um, I have a few already out that you're welcome to check out. But yeah, I, I will be putting on a lot. So yeah. Uh, Shane Alfred, thank you, my friend. Uh, Anna says F3 to unlock it. Uh, um, is that what it does? Yeah, there we go. So we're up above that. Well, we were a second ago. It did shoot up. It did shoot up above it. So F3 unlocks it. So I, I don't know why. Mine might be limited to FPS or to 60 for some other reason. But yeah. Does the landscaping tool function and have or function have an undo button? It does not. Does not. Uh, can you show how to decorate or demolish a decorative building? The game leaves on your farm. Yeah, sure. Um, let's see. Well, let's actually do this. This would be interesting. So if we go down to landscape mode here, I uh, go to construction. So we have the demolish tool. I don't want to demolish these because these are set up for a tutorial for me to do on horses later. Uh, but if we go over to our farm, which is over here, this is the starting farm. Over here, here's the starting farm. So let's see. We can demolish our silo. Uh, we can demolish that garage there, which I think we can demolish. That's a decoration building. We can demolish that. So uh, we can't demolish the tree. We can demolish the farm barn. The and a lot of these, I don't think, I don't think any of those are placeables. That's something I placed. We can or no, that's not something I placed. That was there. We can sell that. Uh, but yeah, so you can demolish a lot of that sort of stuff. Now uh, you can't demolish everything, but you can demolish everything on your starting farm. So if you wanted to clear all this stuff out, you can easily do that, which is pretty cool. How do you manage to always stream when Europe is asleep? I don't know, I don't know, man. Uh, it's only 8 p.m. in Europe, right? 8 to, eight to I guess it's 8 to 10 there, so a little later. Uh, Kelly Danny says, hey, Farmer, a couple of your videos have been watching since I found your Let's Plays No One's Land. Awesome, my friend. Good to see you, Cyber. Stafford says, uh, hey, FC, hope your day is going well. I'm going to break, so I'll be here for a minute, then go back to work. Have a great day, man. Um, well, where was it? Have a great day, man, and enjoy the game. Thank you. Yeah, Getty says, what kind of car is your patrol car? It's a Ford Interceptor Explorer. Uh, so it's an SUV. Aitzen says, uh, when are you doing tutorials on EV and methane vehicles? Uh, that'll probably be later on um, at some point. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Trucker Matsy says, are we there yet? Yeah, it's good to see you, Trucker Matsy. Good to see you up in the chat, my friend. Trucker Matsy's got a fantastic channel if you haven't checked it out already. Uh, Ruin Trees and Shrubs, is that possible? Um yes and no so um i haven't tested it but if we go into the store if we go under forestry stuff i believe there is a mulcher which says tree stumps and bushes so i think we can get rid of bushes with this on all platforms and again this everything i talk about here is going to be for all platforms because i'm just using the base game i don't have any mods installed or anything like that 
Um, I just have the commands enabled to let me be able to do some different stuff. But uh, Melvin, good to see you, my friend. Uh, Mr. C. Today, Farmer Cop, do you know what leasing costs are calculated now? Uh, I don't know how they're calculated, um, but what I don't like, what I don't like, unless there's something I'm doing wrong here, there's no, it doesn't show you what the leasing costs are going to be or what their hourly costs are going to be. I have to hit lease, and it just tells me the, the starting price. It doesn't tell me, I don't know if there's a daily cost, an hourly cost. Um, I, I will do a test on all that stuff later on, probably at some point, but um, I don't have any way to find that out. So that's why I, I wish there were some more issues with that. Uh, John TF, I have not uh, tested planting grass. We can take a look at that if we want to. Uh, iceberg the starter farm on i believe both of them comes with a i don't know about i guess erling grout i'm not sure about erling grout i think erling grout does as well i think all three farms have a um a workshop i know for a fact elm creek does uh marty good to see it michael aubrey says hit that like button thank you my friend yeah there's mods are well giants to be fair they're all out the one the mods that are out in the mod hub are out from giants so if you guys didn't know there are already mods out um so there are some mods out Mark says, hey, if you want to drive over to Snoqualmie today. No, I probably won't be driving over to Snoqualmie today, my friend. <laughs> uh, William Rose is like, yeah, I can't believe I'm out. Brock tells us, I see a discrepancy between people watching and likes. Hit that like button, people. There you go. Uh, how do you find mods on PS4? So, Richard, it should be the same way. But now, actually, what we'll do, we'll save out of here. Uh, we will, well, we, we don't need to save. We can just quit out of here. Uh, so if we quit, it's going to take us out to the main menu here. Um, and if I'll, I'll just drop down to this here for a second. Um, so we can see down here, downloadable content. That's where your mods are going to be. For PlayStation, it should be the same menu. Uh, so you hit downloadable content. I'll come in here and I'll show you all the different mods we have, which uh, let me just pop over to that screen so we can see everything here. Uh, so small tractors, we have a Fiat 1300 DT available by Giants. Um, medium tractors, we have the Case IH7200 available by Giants, and we have the Kloss Xeron Saddle Track Pack. That is a DLC. You have to purchase that if you don't get it in the pre-order bonus. I don't even know if you can purchase it. Uh, but anyhow, Kloss Dominator. And the, the mod screen, I think, looks... Uh, it gives you a lot more detail over here. I don't know if they're going to have that for everything that'll come out, but I like... I think this looks a little bit nicer. I like that version of it a little bit better. More pictures. Uh, we got the New Holland out here. Uh, trailers, we got the Stratman, SEK, Cedars, uh, Vader stat. A lot of it seems like it's stuff that was uh, base game before, but we do have the government subsidy sign right away. A uh, government subsidy for $100 million per year and a government subsidy for $100,000 per year. So there you go. You already have the money cheap built in. Giants already released it. So uh, there you go. Class Dominator. Yeah. Uh, gameplay. Yeah, government subsidy. So those are the kind of the mods that we have now. Um, that's kind of what we're taking a look at. So extra content, DLC, downloads, updates, installed. Um, we can ignore all those. Those are, I think, FS19 mods, technically speaking. Uh, but yeah, we'll go back into uh, the game here. We'll load back into there. So uh, yeah, so that's some different things to look at there as far as all the mods go. The animals require all types of food 100%, like some mod maps, or can you just feed a cow uh, TMR to get 100%? You can just feed cows TMR. So some, some animals to get 100% require more than one crop type. Um, chickens... Chickens require either sorghum or wheat or barley, and that will give them 100%. You just have to provide one of those because they only have one food bar. Sheep either need grass or hay, um, and that'll give them to 100%. Uh, cows require TMR or they require grass and hay, I believe is how cows work. I could be wrong, but I believe that's how they work. Uh, horses require hay and either oats or sorghum. So you have to have oats or sorghum or hay. Um, and then, is that all the animals? Did I cover them all? Oh, pigs. Pigs do require all the different categories to get 100%. You have several different categories. Okay, PS4 version is broken at the moment. Trying to deliver the issue. Okay, so there you go. Trucker Matsy saying that as far as I'm assuming with mod type stuff is going. Um, but yeah. There we go. Beautiful. So Giants is fixing stuff as it goes on. There's stuff that happens. Stuff gets broken. But yeah. King George, good to see ya. Uh, Annie says, how do you enable straw swath? Um, if we hop into, I don't want a harvester here, but if we hop into, we'll go ahead and just purchase ourselves a harvester here. We can take a look at that. Um, <laughs> yeah, we'll buy this guy here, that'll work. And then we'll get ourselves a grain header. Get over to this guy. Um, so if I hide that menu, if you look up in the upper left-hand corner there, I actually don't even go out to field. You see that's about fourth down. It says enable straw swath. If I click that, 
that'll enable the straw straw so now it's going to leave a straw swath and now if i hit it again it's the comma button it'll disable it now i'm not sure what the key will be on like a console but that's how it is on pc that's how you disable and enable it right there so uh hopefully that answers your question but there you go the potato DC dlc is actually based game now i don't is it it's it's not they don't have uh, any of that equipment does it look like i may maybe i don't know about that one but i don't think they have any but they have some new equipment but not the potato dlc stuff but yeah uh, Paul says, great fan, love your videos, currently watching them from the beginning. Awesome, well, thank you, Paul, appreciate that. Farming SD, good to see you, my friend. Um, Henrik says, you can also you can buy the class. Okay, there you go. So you can buy the class uh, Xeron Saddle Track Pack. Um, you can buy it there. So there you go. Um, if you wanted to buy that, you can do that. Why is my YouTube being weird? There we go. But uh, yeah, so you can buy it if you'd like to. Was using the CVC tractors earlier. I couldn't get them to reverse work in console. CVC? What are you talking CVC? I don't know what. Uh, is there a CVC brand? What a brand is that? I don't know what CVC. Uh, oh, you're talking about that's a transmission, isn't that? Okay, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I'm, I'm on board. I'm on board. I know what you're talking about now. <laughs> is there a way to change the growing speed like there was in FS19? There is not, Chris, other than in seasons, you can slow it down. Uh, but if you have seasons turned off, there's no way to change it at all. Is my seed destroyed if I uh, ran over the field with a tractor? Seed will not be destroyed, no. Your crops could be, if your crops are in a later growth state, your crops could be destroyed. Uh, so do be aware of that. Marty, good to see you. Firewalker says, thanks for the grape tutorial. I will definitely have to give grapes a shot later. Love love the production chains also. Oh, yeah. Rock says, I can't watch these videos that just got posted and the stream at the same time. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. I have Erlingrad some factories. Uh, yeah, I think Erlingrad have some factories on it. We can go take a look at that. Uh, yeah, daily tutorials here on the FC channel. I'll be posted anywhere between four to eight tutorials a day. So we'll have a lot uh, coming out. But yeah. Um, yeah, let's go take a look. We can take a look at that. Do you guys want to see what factories are on Erling Route? We can go take a look at that. It doesn't matter. Whole purpose of this so we can answer questions for you guys. So if you have questions, make sure you guys let me know so I can try to answer them for you. Um, we'll quit out of here. We don't need to save that. Uh, but if we do career mode here, we'll go over. I don't think I have an Erling Route save. We'll just do farm manager. doesn't matter. We will load into Erlingrot. Um, I'm not going to put any mods in there. We'll get that going. Question, can't get my beacons to be reflected on PC? I don't know if I turn something. You can't get my beacons to be reflected on PC. I like reflective or on it. Like I'm, I guess I'm trying to figure out what you're asking here. Uh, anyone using production saints, I've tried canola oil, but $3,000 per day is not uh, what I could, I would call good value. More is made by sell raw crops, sadly. Uh, Terry, yeah, I'm not sure. I haven't taken too much of a dive into the productions chains yet. I'm going to do tutorials on every single uh, production building uh, to make sure we got all that figured out. We'll just go with that. Uh, so, okay, so let's take a look on the map here. So we should have, yeah, we do have some production buildings on Erlingrat. So uh, we have to go over to, um, let's just leave, let's turn everything off except for production. So productions. We have a mill there. We have, I don't know what that is going to be. Um, let's visit that. This one says it's a production building. Is this the chocolate factory? What in the world? Tag that. Over there? Oh, there's the, there's the symbol out there. Didn't look the right way. Uh, yeah, sure, we can buy that. So this is... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is a, we go into our productions menu down here. This is a dairy. Okay, so cheese, there you go. So we have a dairy on here. We go up to here. We have, that's the chocolatier there. Sawmill. We have biogas plant. We have the, yeah, we have the mill. So a few productions are built into the map, not a lot. Now, one thing that's different about the biogas plant, to use it, you don't buy the land like you did before, I can't buy this land. So if I jump over here, you buy it like a production building. So I have to come up to this wrench here and I have to purchase the biogas plant. So 479,000 for that one. Uh, but there you go. So you have to purchase it that way. That's how you essentially purchase it. Good to see you guys, Jonas. How much material we, for example, takes uh, to make a thousand liters of flour? Um, I'm not sure. We have a mill on here, don't we? Yeah, let's jump down to there. Purchase this, 96,000. So uh, I believe if we go to production, theoretically speaking, it depends on what crop you're going to put in here. It looks like the most efficient. 
is oats. So oats will give you the most. So to get a thousand liters of flour, now I don't know, I haven't tested any of this. So my understanding is 150 liters of oats or 150 units of oats, 150 worth of oats, whatever it may be, will get you 188 units of flour. So I haven't tested any of that, but that should be essentially what it goes on there. Uh, contract pays, yeah, we can take a look at that. Uh, if we go to contracts in here, uh, we got contracts through here. So the contracts pay out fairly reasonably. Um, Go back down to production, so I'm interested for... I like all that, that's cool. I like all that stuff going on there. Uh, but yeah, uh, question, do you know what we can use all the stones uh, to do? We collect on the field? Oh uh, yeah, so you can sell them. Oop, what do they, what do they break? Ah, uh, there we go, let's get that off. And there we go, you can see my FPS, I actually did have it above uh, 60 for a little bit there. Uh, so yeah, what you can do with the stones. Oop, get out of there. Um, if we go into here, you can go down to stones in here. If I can find them, that is. At the bottom. Of course, there stones down at the bottom. This one doesn't have any selling points available. So normally on a map, you can sell them. That's what you'd want to do. Um, if you're on a map that does not have a sell point, you can go under construction, um, go to productions, go to selling points, and then go down to the very end, you have a debris crusher. So if I wanted to, I don't own any, do I own any land? I don't own any land, but you could place that down if I owned the land and you'd be able to sell it there. So that's that's how you go about that. Uh, M and IH, my best, the best map, my opinion, is definitely Earl, or Elm Creek, not Erling Grot. Elm Creek is my favorite. Just asking how much better is Farm Sim 22 to Farm Sim 19? Uh, it's much better. And now since the game is officially out, I can give it a 10 out of 10 rating or five out of five stars. So there you go, Giants. Your game is awesome. I love it. Anyhow, if you guys are just joining us, make sure you guys hit the like button. Uh, that was the one thing. There was a, uh, there wasn't anything that we, we were allowed to post videos right away, but we couldn't give the game an official rating until it's officially out, if that makes any sense, but yeah. Uh, how do you take uh, to Goldcrest Valley? Well, there's no Goldcrest Valley, so I have no idea. Um, are you, oh, you're talking about like the train that goes to Gold, isn't that what it does on here? I don't know, I haven't taken a look at any of that. Let's see. Uh, let's go to look at the trains here. There should be a train somewhere. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, let's go to the map so I can actually, let's turn everything back on. But yeah, so uh, Felsburn, or Felsburn, you mean, I think is what you mean. Goldcrest, not Goldcrest Valley, but Felsburn. Yeah, the train can take it to Felsburn. Um, you have to rent the train, so you go here. I actually haven't taken a look into doing any of that. Um, yes, yeah, so right here, if we want to rent train for $1,000 per hour, return rented train. So that's kind of cool. Train is to arrive. Look at that. Train arrives soon. It's two kilometers away. That's kind of cool. Anyhow, that's pretty sweet. I like that. Um, so there you go. Yeah, I agree, Iceberg. They did a really good job on FS22. You're welcome, Henrik. Do you know when the patch update will be coming out for console players? I'm on version 1.00 and the game is not good. I am not sure. I have no idea. Uh, Lucas is number one star one level approved. <laughs> is it worth it to buy if I have FS19? Absolutely, Tyre, Tyler. Absolutely. Definitely worth, worth it. Definitely, definitely worth it. Oh, Mike, I'm sorry to hear that, my friend. Are you on console? They might just need an update. Train costs 1000 The contract pays 1134 and two contracts fail. That does not pay money. Oh, I see what you're saying. I don't I don't know how all that stuff works. So, um, yep, yeah, I don't have to tell you as far as that goes. But, yeah. Again, the game is not perfect, guys. It's going to take time for them to get it fixed up. It just is what it is. got to be patient with them. They are trying to fix as much as they can. They're working their butts off. Uh, Shane, yeah, you should be able to travel on the train once you rent it. You fill a sile, then you rent a train, fill it, the sile, then send it off. So there you go. Do you have to rent the train? Yes, you do, King George. Uh, Chris, I think it's Goldcrest Valley when you're on there. Oh, gotcha. That makes sense. That makes sense. Thank you, Chris. I haven't taken a look too much into the trains because I never really use them, but yeah. Well, Volvo, if you want to get some of that money back, you can cheat it in. <laughs> uh, Wanta Hex says, uh, Steam server's dead. I have no idea, my friend. There's our train right there. There goes Bias right there. Uh, Gene Kelly, same prices in 2019. Uh, I have no idea. I didn't think you had to rent the train in 2019. I thought you just got access to it. But again, I haven't done a whole lot on there uh, with training and everything like that. Uh, Banks, my vacation's going fairly well. I worked last night, but uh, and I was supposed to work tonight, but I ended up not having to work tonight, so I'm happy about that. Nice, Jason. That's awesome. Jason says, Xbox Series version has been running very smooth. Haven't even tried installing on PC yet. Nice. Uh, Mark says, there's not much room for maps to create a big area or for storage and animals. Um, 
I actually disagree. Um, and here's my reasoning for that. Actually, I don't know about Erling Grot, but on or Hotmail on, but on, on Elm Creek, which we, we can just jump back to Elm Creek here. Um, we will quit. We don't need to save. We'll go back to my Elm Creek save here. Um, and my reasoning for saying that is because there's big fields. You can take over a field and you can landscape it how you want and stuff like that. But yeah. You guys just join us. Make sure you guys hit that like button. We got over 200 people watching, only 95 likes. What's up with that? Will76 says, uh, can you sell honey automatically? You cannot. You must manually take it there as far as I know uh, because it shows up at the pallet spawn point. So you must uh, manually sell it, unfortunately. So just that that is a good question. Uh, Kajil says, who are you? Uh, I am Farmer Cop. <laughs> is there any information you give out from Giants? Uh, not that I'm aware of, my friend. Uh, you can only ride the train to the end of the map, then you'll get... Well, right, yeah, yeah, Chris, that's very true. You could ride it to the end of the map. You'll get kicked off once you get down to uh, the edge. Um, but yeah, Trill says, I know oats make more flour, but do different grains still have different yields? Yes, oats oats might make... more. You're right, oats will make more flour, but you're going to get less oats off the field than you were the other ones. I think that's why there's a difference in the production. Uh, so that's that's why. Uh, giant servers are currently down. Mods and multiplayer won't show up, folks. So just so you guys know that. Well, hopefully they get that fixed next two and a half hours. We won't be streaming uh, because the servers will be down. Uh, but we'll try it. Uh, so far, let's see. Everyone wants to. It looks like everyone wants to stream on do the multiplayer today on Elm Creek. Seventy-two percent. People love Elm Creek. I think Elm Creek's the by far the most popular map. Which I actually thought overall, uh, Hot Bay Ron would be the most popular one, but. Uh, fireworks does anybody notice when you look at the map uh, to see a field see plowing the whole map is yeah 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 so that's normal that's how it's supposed to be i don't like it personally but it is supposed to be that way so if you create fields anywhere you know that um so it is i i do agree i don't like it i wish it would only show up when there's fields needed so i get it i don't like it but it is supposed to be that way it's not that's intentional uh from what i can tell is that's that's intentional uh but yeah i agree it is a little weird so when uh, will servers... Well, we don't know when servers will be back up, uh, my friend. Second Matt says, nobody knows when the server update is coming, but no Giants is working as hard as they can to fix the issue. Oh, yeah. And New Capital says, uh, how do you repair equipment now? Uh, same as you did before. I actually have a video out on it, which uh, N2 Capital, if you watch my store guide, that'll tell you all the differences or how to repair equipment and stuff like that um, in a little bit more detail. But just a quick overview for you. If we go up to the shop here, um, you can either drive up to a repair trigger, so you can replace your own repair trigger if you have one at your farm. You can use that, but you come up here, and you can art open it up. Now, if you do have multiple things inside the repair trigger, when you go to open it up, it'll list them all out here, um, which is very, very, very nice. Uh, so that makes it a lot easier, I think, um, to use. Now, these trailers I've been trying to get rid of, they're leased, but they won't, they don't show up. So I have had that glitch here. They don't show up as leased, and it still bills me for them every day. So that's actually, let's buy a truck. There we go, we'll try this out. Uh, quick 4A6 says, does the map update show new fields you create? Yes. Well, it'll they'll show up in the menu like as where your crop types are and stuff like that, but they won't show up as like newly numbered fields, if that makes sense. But I have made fields. This actually used to be a field here, uh, but I destroyed it. Let's try to get rid of this guy if we can. Uh, I love the AI workers. I love the new AI workers, but here we'll stop him there So if we go up here theoretically speaking, they should both yeah, they both showed up here So this guy we can actually you can hit repair repaint um, and I'm actually gonna return Did you get rid of him? Oh, yeah, we got rid of my least things that I can't get rid of um, Oh, you're already sick and tired of Elm Creek. That's because everyone wants to play on it. That's everyone wants to play on it. We'll back up here and grab this. Uh, Jacob, my favorite map is definitely Elm Creek, my friend. Oop. Love the horn on that. Love the horn. Oh, nice. You just got the game, Brian. That's awesome. Get that baby opened up. Start playing it. Let's get this trailer out of here real quick. Uh, but yeah, we'll go ahead and you can, you can repair. You can repaint if you'd like to and return that's how to do all that stuff there i love the noises that everything makes it's very cool very very cool uh, any other questions about the game guys i'm on elm creek but we can play around we can go to a different map if we always want to uh we can do whatever whatever we want to do 
Oh yeah, Droughts have fun in France, which I did not expect. Actually, I, I could have sold that off as well. Uh, garage going to trucks. Sell that. Yeah, we'll get rid of that. Okay, and I'm actually gonna save the game. I got rid of any ideas how to close B or how close beehives need to be to benefit of field yields for uh, canola. I'm not sure. I don't know. I haven't done any testing as far as how close they need to be. Um, I would say obviously as close as possible so you know you're guaranteeing it, but I bet you there's a little bit of space there to work with. I haven't tested it and I don't know uh, yet as far as how that will go, but uh, yeah. Steven says, I'm still waiting for my game to arrive on my doorstep uh, or in the mailbox. Well, Steven, hopefully it gets there soon, my friend. Uh, Lucas says, y'all uh, uh, fangirl on Elm Creek, absolutely. Uh, Mark Calgar says, uh, how long does it usually take uh, mods to start coming out? Uh, Mark, um, there are already mods out, my friend. Giants has already posted some mods. There are already some mods coming out for the game. Uh, Marty says, FC, you need another grass bale. Just point it out. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, Big Bob says, uh, how many new maps are there? There is three maps um, in base game. One is technically not new. It's Erlingrat. That is from the previous game, FS19. It's a reworked uh, version of that, which came with the Alpine DLC. Then we also have Elm Creek, which is what we're on right now. And then we have Hot Bailaron, which is based in France. So there we go. And Elm Creek is the US map. Uh, Precision Farming, John, we don't know any details about that yet. It hasn't come out yet as a DLC. So we don't have any information on that. Dylan says, I can't wait for my game to be here. I ordered it on Amazon. There you go, my friend. Uh, but yeah, it's effect yield. That's neat. Yeah, they do. So they'll affect, uh, and actually, I don't know. I know Canola's one. Do they have feed and waste types? Bees, bees hives produce honey, which can be processed further or sold directly to place your beehives next to fields. And you'll soon be living in the land of milk and honey as the bees will increase the yield of canola, sunflowers, and potatoes. Honey will be delivered to the freely placed delivery area. So um, there you go. Those are the ones. So potatoes, sunflowers, and um, canola. There's, there's the ones. We need a bigger plow and planter. Got spoiled with all the mods. I agree, Firewalker. We'll get more mods soon. Don't worry. A small report, small bug report regarding field 41. Not bailed on hired worker can't help in the field. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, they should be able to start fixing all that stuff. Darren Doyle, good to see us. Hey guys, I'm here, so you don't need to be ignored, ignored anymore. Uh, Giants decided to break their servers because today's multiplayer is too late for me. <laughs> gotcha, that makes sense. Uh, Tyrell says, need a brewery mod. It helps for the new Vine system. That'd be cool. Wine for real French roleplay. That'd be cool. Blame Road says, I was able to play it before it released. He got pre-ordered, but yesterday, 21st. Nice. Pallet Fork stuff is so much better. Yeah, so the Pallet Forks work way better. As far as moving pallets and stuff like that go, uh, it works way better in uh, FS22 for sure. All right, looking through. Uh, Joe Panico, good to see you. Gregory, good to see you. Did you see Auto Drive and Course Play coming to FS22 for PC like it did in FS19? I do. I uh, Maybe not Auto Drive. Well, they probably will still. I bet you they'll still come out with it, but we'll see. Um, I bet you Course Play will still come out because it's different than what the AI helpers do or anything like that. Oh, uh, yeah. Didn't Giants say during uh, FarmCon it wouldn't be arriving until February in Richmond? Yeah, for, um, uh, you're talking about precision farming. Yeah, I agree. Uh, Volvo says, I can't log into the website and it will not let me recover my account. What is going on? I have no idea, my friend. Chris J says, maybe an odd question, but is everyone having an issue with multiplayer not working or just me? Uh, it, multiplayer servers are down right now. Uh, Jerry says, sounds are subtle, but absolutely amazing and helps you immerse. I agree with that. Uh, any other questions you guys have for me? Um, Noah says, why does it take so long for all the crops to grow? Or is it just, it takes four days or so. I have, I believe it's about four days from what I've noticed. Um, but the good news is you just go up and if you wanted to fast forward time, super easy to do so. You can sleep through the, you can skip days at a time in the new game. You don't have to wait until nighttime. So you can skip day after day after day until it's ready to harvest if you want to do that. So it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Uh, Firewalker says more money tricks. Uh, well, we have the government subsidy mod, which is out. Uh, plus you can edit the XML if you're on PC or you could do the multiplayer hack if you're on console. Yeah, Iceberg, I agree. Seems like the new AI helpers pretty much cover auto drive. I agree with that. Uh, Cake Juice says, guess what? What, Cake Juice? Let us know. Uh, Kaylee Brown says, holding out. Uh, hope Alien Jim brings no man's lower. Yeah, I bet he will, Kaylee. I bet he will. I'm hoping he does too. Uh, sounds are so crisp they are fire that's right Cindy show the uh uh massey 8s absolutely benjamin let's go and take a look at that the massey 8s let's go down to that's a large tractor <laughs> uh if i'm not mistaken am i correct about that? oh no maybe it's not maybe it's medium massey 8s massey there it is massey ferguson 8s so here's the mass ferguson 8s trailer borg michelin continental minus bkt Verdestein, there's so many different brands. Um, what's the craziest we can do? Um, nothing on that. You need twins all around. It's probably the craziest, craziest we'll get. Front loader attacher, you can have that yes or no. We'll have different. I love they have even different front loader attachments available. 
engine setup we can do 225 245 265 285 305 325 uh those are the horsepower options and then we can add a license plate which the license plate feature is pretty cool uh, so let's say we did uh uh i don't know 444 um fcc i don't know i don't know what i got going on so type one type two you can go through all the different ones um in different colors you can change the colors of the letters to green or whatever you want to do but um yeah so the massive ferguson 8s let's go ahead and just uh bump that engine up let's go ahead and buy that bad boy we'll take a look at it here is the 9rx in fs22 i'm pretty sure it does 8rx 9r 9rt 9rx there you go 9rx is base game there's no case quad track which i'm sad about uh crazy crew gaming says uh great info man hey farmer cop great info man appreciate that one to take fields to grow without seasons on about four days farmer Groot is what i've noticed about four days josh says question what is your favorite silo so far uh that's a tough one there's some big silos but i think my favorite one is probably i think this guy right here because it has 800,000 liter capacity and it's not too big and i don't have to worry about using an auger to put stuff into it so i think that's probably my favorite Top in the massy 8s here can you grow all crops on all maps tom robert um i think so i think so elm creek should be the only one that would have a limiting factor and on seasons um there's nothing that says you can't have it seasons turned off but yeah you, sh you should be able to grow all crops on all maps uh the contract's gonna be scams now i lost uh 17 000, two tractors sorry to hear that volvo sorry to hear that my friend uh fortimus says uh, how's everyone enjoying the game my best unfortunately uh or my best buy unfortunately doesn't even have my pre-order in stock oh geez Darn it, that's not fun. I'm sorry to hear that. Peter says, do you know how to manually shift on console? I looked all over the place and can't seem to figure out. Um, I don't. But if you want to find out how to manually shift, as long as you have it turned on, you should be able to go into your menu and look at key bindings. And it should show you all the console key bindings as well in the game and the, and the options. Because you, be you should be able to change them, I think. I'm not a console gamer, but I believe it works that way um, as well. So uh, just something to note there um but yeah just something to note so you have that going on for you um tom robert says that uh, peter you have to keep the drive button pressed uh press up or down on d-pad there you go so peter's got some answers for it. do you go amazon earlier on the online service yeah they're just down right now uh william Josh says, how big did you go do you want it i don't know that oh how big uh <laughs> um you don't have to make any i don't even need any more leaders and i just wanted to hold everything joss is making me it looks like a multi-fruit cell thank you joss cyber says farmer cup can i see the signal lights on the 8s yeah 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 Let's do left. Those things are sweet. Look at that. <laughs> That's awesome. And beacons. I have my beacon light as well right here. So there's my beacon light. Uh, it's, it is what it is. Uh, but I have it. Let's put a little bit in there so you guys can see it. My little beacon light. So when it comes on, it's there. Uh, but yeah, so those those turn signals are on fantastic. There's the flashers, which you can't do on console. At least right now, there's no way that I'm aware of. But yeah, very cool. <laughs> Darren Dillon, we'll do a sugar cane tutorial at some point. All right, console folks, key bindings do not show up as an option, but maybe we'll be in the future update. So no, they are not on there. So D-pad up and down is what you need for shifting, it sounds like. Uh, how much is FS22 on Xbox? It should be $49.99 for Karkin there. Uh, but yeah, the detail and everything is insane. Now, I agree, Iceberg. It is incredible. Uh, Firewalker says, working with snow a bit easier in 22. I know in 19 it did sometimes. Build. I haven't actually done anything Firewalker with snow. I haven't gotten it to snow yet. Um, I probably will be able to get it to snow here, but um, I have not done any working. It should be easier, though. I'm going to guess since with just the general uh, workings of the new game that it's going to be a lot easier. So I think that's going to make it fantastic. Uh, Banks and Andres is another face cam. We're getting lucky lately. I'll probably end up honestly streaming very regularly with the face cam because at this point, you all know what I look like, so it is what it is. Thea Stenberg, so I believe it's uh, up and down the deep bed. I keep uh, actually doing it when I'm trying to zoom the camera in and out. There you go. There you go. That tractor's view. It is Benjamin. Truck Central says, uh, hello, brother. Quite him in the house. Good to see my friend. But Truck Central says, hello, brother. Uh, have you gone over... Uh, what to do with field stones uh, yes but i can go over it again my friend so after you have used one of these stone pickers to pick the stones out of the field nine miles nine miles yeah 5.5 yeah i need to get one of those on my farm but anyhow after you do that if we go into the uh cell cell menu here down at the very bottom is stones you can take them to either debris crusher and they will buy them for that price there so um you can sell the stones off is what you can do pretty much so 
Um, that's that's what you can do with the stones. Uh, can you try planting grass and see if you have problems? Uh, John, yeah, sure, we can might as well. We might as well buy ourselves. Uh, we got the 8S out here. Let's go ahead and buy ourselves a cedar. Um, what cedar? Uh, J I'm going to wait. John, what cedar were you using? We'll try it with that same cedar to see if we get the same issue. Uh, razor blade, FS22 is fantastic. Uh, Trill says, unless the AI can handle sugarcane, I'm never touching it again, applying my least favorite crop. That's fair. I can understand that. Uh, Tony says, where can I find the extra content key in Steam? I have no idea, my friend. Um, cake juice, uh, the production chains are confusing in this to me. Oh, that's okay, cake juice. We'll do some tutorials on it. Don't worry. Caleb Brown says, where do I report bugs to? My stone picker is a helper. Is on a helper. It's 100% full and still picking stones. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Um, I think you should be able to report it to giants directly. I'm not sure the exact process to go about that, but that's the way to do that. Uh, razor blade, quite honestly, uh, from talking with people, though it does seem like $50 is a lot, for what you get for it, honestly, I think it's a pretty cheap game, uh, to be honest with you. Ashton says, are you having problems with contracts? I have not done any contracts, so I haven't tested that yet. Um, the six meter one with the yellow top, okay. That's the cedar we're gonna use. Eight meter. Uh, this guy right here. That's got a yellow top on it. The Pottinger. That must be it. We'll go ahead and buy that guy. And we'll need to buy some seeds for it. So let's go into seeds. Grab this here. BB Outlaws. Good afternoon, FC. So how many bugs have you found so far? I, I actually haven't found too many. I found like maybe one or two. Um, I did have some pallets fall into the map and get stuck, so I have had that issue. Oops. There we go, get seed in there. The seed loads up, the pallets load a lot faster too than they did in the previous game, which I think is amazing. Okay, let's get over to grass. And then we will just go down. Do I own this field? Let's purchase this field. Yeah, those pallets over there are stuck in the ground. Let's see if we're having the same issue. I believe this is a direct drill. There's the link to report bugs. We'll go ahead and put that at the top. That actually makes sense to pin that one for this specific uh, stream here. Um, okay. That is cooking through seeds. Wow, look at that. Is it this planter or is it that? Well, sorghum looks normal. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's planting the grass appropriately for some reason. But yeah, that is definitely a little bit of an issue. You might want to let giants know about that because I doubt you're supposed to go through 400 liters of seeds to do that little chunk of grass there. Uh, so yeah, I might want to report that bug to giants for sure. You show off the saddle track and use. I don't have the saddle track installed. So I don't can't do that. Uh, but yeah, I haven't installed any of that extra stuff yet. Uh, Fire Grid says, is there anything you don't like about the game? Um... Hmm. Yes, there is what well, there's a couple things. I'm trying to think what it was. Oh, one thing for sure. I don't like this. I don't like the red everywhere. I don't like that it shows everywhere that needs to be plowed. I don't like that. That part I don't like. Um past that I like most of it. I think that's probably my least favorite thing about the game so far. Uh but yeah. Dear Jesus, I'm <laughs> sorry, oh, that's right. Uh, but yeah, is there anything? Okay, that was all I just answer. I had twice contract disappeared when I accepted it. Didn't try a third time. Yeah, contracts are a little bugged out, it sounds like. Um, Brazil, I don't know how to fix FPS on a Series S, my friend. I have no idea. I am not a, uh, I am not a uh, IT helpline here. I can just answer questions about the gameplay. Uh, you should see when workers, when workers pay for the seeds, John. <laughs> John, now I gotta see it. Um, workers, uh, sorry, it's under here. Workers refill seeds. Oh, it should buy. Okay, perfect. Let's change this over. Oh, we can hit B to turn it off. Holy cow, look at our money. <laughs> that is insane. I can see why there's an issue there. Uh, force feedback do um, That I believe for if you are playing with a controller doesn't that vibrate it or something. I don't know I'm about to reset my tractor because the hardy mega 1200 liter tank will not do. Oh weird 
Well, make sure you report it to Giants, actually. To report bugs, use that uh, link at the top there. Giants will be, I'm sure, very busy fixing all sorts of bugs with the game, but they'll be patching all sorts of stuff. That is madness how much that costs in seeds. Oh my goodness, that is madness. $100 of the seeds. $100 of the seeds. $100 of the seeds. Wow. It costs several million just to plant this field. Are you going to be broken about... Yeah, you can be back, man, you can be broken about five minutes. No kidding. I'll probably on higher M. We got 774 million in the bank, so we'll probably be fine for a while. Uh, no, you cannot change growth speed if seasons is turned off. You cannot. It is stuck at where it's at. Uh, Gene Kelly says, FC, can you still purchase ground, harvest the ground, then sell it back for the same price you paid for it? Uh, yeah, you start, you, I'm, I'm assuming you can. I haven't technically tested that, but we can do a quick test here. Let's find something that's ready to harvest. So this field is ready to harvest. Um, I don't even know what's in it. We'll purchase that. Now, what is in that field? Canola? Okay, let's go ahead and let's grab a harvester. Uh, we'll try a different one. Uh, we'll try that one. That looks pretty sweet. And then, actually, another thing that's cool, too, if I go in here, I can get combinations. I'll show you what headers are supposed to work with it. Oh, the 15.2 meter header. Buy that guy. Fantastic. Okay, six minutes in. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, okay. Uh, Wally, you're very welcome, my friend. Yeah, exactly. Iceberg, you're absolutely right. Yeah, there's always going to be a few bugs in the new game. Uh, we'll unfold this bad boy. Turn the help menu off for now. You guys just join us make sure you guys hit that like button this fold up nope the header does not fold up so thankfully this road is wide all right we'll take this this thing is as wide as this highway this is not gonna go get oh why did you switch to the center lane you jerk oh good you'll drive under my pipe oh I mean, she's in the launcher doesn't uh, like one of my pre-order downloads. Oh, interesting. Yeah, there's some issues. Uh, if you let Giants know, they should be able to get around to fix it. Can we just hop over this guy? Yeah, we'll put a crash counter on there. Um, is this where our field's at we're going to? No, 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 no. We need to go f straight. There we go. Uh, sarcastic superhero girl. Yeah, I'll give you a quick explanation here. I am going to do some tutorials later, but it might be a little bit before I get them out. So let me do a quick... Let's get this guy working for our test, since we're going to test this. There we go. We'll hire a worker to work on that. Okay, yeah, so seasons. The way seasons work. If I go down here and... Turn them... I'll just leave them paused. Nope. Go oh, yes. Then if I go up here... This calendar will show you when you can harvest stuff. I'm harvesting canola right now, so I don't know if that's why it jumped into there. But uh, So what you need to know for seasons. Down here at the bottom, planting season is green. So you can plant these crop types. You can scroll down. You can plant them when it is green on the map. When it's March, April, May, you can plant, you know, wherever. That's what you need to do. These are by months. The seasons are grouped into three months. So three months. So this is summer that we're in. This is fall that we're in here. September to November is fall. December to February is winter. March to May is spring. Harvest season, during the yellow, you can harvest. Now, the other thing you need to know, um, you can go down here and you can oh, go back up to seasons. You can change up to 28 days per month. So if you go up here, which I actually haven't taken a look at this, it doesn't change anything up here. You're still in the same month. It doesn't like divide it out into 28 chunks, but you can change it so each month will last 28 days um, all the way down to uh, one day so you can change it anything in between there you can have it fixed visual month if you want to you can turn snow on or off if you want to um so how's this guy gonna do this he's doing okay yeah hey, he's just turning around on the road like he knows what he's doing uh so yeah that's how basically how seasons work and all you have to do is just harvest and plant during those those schedules that's like a very quick uh quick version of how they're gonna work and it doesn't seem like it does not seem like seasons affect animals, uh, whether you have it on or off, at least from what I've noticed. I haven't done a ton of testing again, but yeah. I grab some tacos from the Mexican restaurant. Yeah, right, they'll sound good. Uh, Evan, good to see you. Reinstall them for the fourth time, so one of the downloads ain't getting downloaded. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, Iceberg, the animation of the rock bears are awesome. 
That's true. I could turn Travic off, but it's that would be no fun. Um, uh, <laughs> very true. Uh, sorry, I missed. What fruit type are you seeding when the issues are crazy? Uh, Adam, we were doing grass, my friend. We were doing grass. Terry Cole says, someone uh, had a question about bees. I have just sent out an uh, APR 150 million is the range. Uh, oh, nice. 150 meters is the range. Okay. Okay. Well, that's good to know, Terry. Yeah, there you go, Sarcastic Superhero Girl. Hopefully that helps you out, my friend. We'll go ahead and take over here. This is sweet. I love this. And as you can see, I don't believe that header is squared up with the harvester. Maybe it is squared up with the harvester, but they should adjust, shouldn't they? Uh, yeah, you definitely need to get your hands on this one. Uh, with two headache, I haven't checked that. Um, they probably won't work right, so be careful with that. If you are just joining us, make sure you guys hit that like button. It does go to help support the channel a ton. Oh yeah, Firewalker, there's so much more to do in this game. So many tutorial videos to put out. So much stuff going on for sure. But okay, so we got 5,628 liters off. Um, oh, I didn't even look at what we bought the land for. Whoops. But yeah, you should be able to then sell it again back off. 140, sell. And if we go into the menu, is it... Part of it's ready to harvest. That's kind of weird, but... The, the prices shouldn't change based on what you do, but we're obviously still getting crop off of it. So they shouldn't change at all. Uh, how... To work the meridian grain bins to fill oh the ones that need the auger i haven't tested that we can take a look at that concerning cattle when in seasons are the cattle beef or oh, whoops technically speaking there's not really any beef cattle they just will reproduce and you can sell that off i haven't done any testing with it but technically speaking you put a crash on there for that but uh, technically speaking there's not really they're not they're not have like they don't have like a weight value it's just from reproduction look at this guy just charging us let's get him oh we're high centered. Yep, we are high centered. Try to get that track. That track will take him out. All right, I'll put one. Nope. Track's not taking him out either. We're going to have to go around him. Oh, I hit that too. Uh, lots of crashes. Anyhow. <laughs> Josh W says, hello, Farmer Captain Chat. Well, how are we doing? We're doing fantastic. Looks like you have a combine doing slurry. Yeah, it does look a little bit like that, Michelle. All right, we got this guy back up here. So that's all That's all good, fun and games. Yeah, Terry, I miss an F11 as well, my friend. Uh, Tom Roberts says, how many stages of fertilizer is there and does the new roller section add a stage? Um, yes and yes. So there's a, the new roller should add a stage of fertilizer. You also can double apply with certain fertilizer spreaders, such as I believe the organic ones and with the sprayers and stuff, you should be able to double fertilize. I haven't done a ton of work with fertilizer, but there's two fertilizer states just like FS19. Uh, so that part at least is the same. Uh, Dave to call the police. Farmer Groot says, I know uh, PC players know how to do productions. For me, I don't. It's a pretty easy to get a handle on. Yeah, it's pretty easy. You just have to make sure you put it in. Um, what I recommend doing is I actually printed out, um, if I can find it. Here we are. I printed this out, which has the whole production chains, and I laminated that, so I have like a cheat sheet with me. So it does, that, for me personally, makes it easier for me to know what I'm doing, and it shows me the inputs and outputs there. But uh, yeah, so that helps me out a lot. Uh, if you guys are just joining us, make sure you guys hit that like button or subscribe button to join on the channel. Uh, Elliot, welcome to Officer, my friend. Good to have you as a member on the channel. Here's our craziness we had going on down there. Uh, but yeah. Is that Crash Counter part of the new game or a mod? That's uh, VBL. The Crash Counter is... That is not a mod or part of the game. That's all what I'm doing with my streaming software. That's uh, I'm just hitting a button on my stream deck over here. I have my nice, uh, beautiful... Uh, I, I can't even... I can't move it, but it's my beautiful Elgato over here. Uh, the XL, the Elgato XL stream deck, stream deck XL. But yeah. Okay. Are you using gear shift manually? I am not. I'm not a fan of it. I don't, and not, you can see how the header is at a different angle there. That's interesting. I like that. That's because it'll do the auto, whatever it needs to do. What if we get in there and turn it on? What, we'll level it out? You see that? It levels it out to the ground. Super cool. I like that. That's a pretty cool feature. That was a very obvious version of it. Um, let's take a look at that grain bin, though. Um, if we go down here. Josh, is there any chance you saved all the prints in a Wordish document, FC? Uh, oh, the, like this guy? I know I have this guy saved somewhere, probably. But uh, yeah, I don't I don't know. Uh, I could probably sh share it. Yeah, boom, I do think the multiplayer servers are down. I do think they are. 
All right, the Meridian Silos. Let's go ahead and put the this one down. So right there, we need an auger pipe. So let's go ahead and just do some experimenting with it. I, I will probably do a video on it later. I haven't taken a look. And actually, so we go here. It does say you need a auger or conveyor. Um, I don't know all of what you could use with it, but if we go to belt systems, I believe you need, yeah, you need one of these guys right here. Um, let's try the Meridian one, because that would make sense. That one's designed to go with. Now, I don't... I'm assuming you can pull it. I haven't tried pulling it anywhere. Um, let's buy... Uh, what tractor do you guys want to take a look at? Is there any tractor anyone wants to take a look at? We'll buy it here to take a look at it. Uh, Martin says, is your work... Uh, uh, do your work colleagues know that you're streaming? Uh, they know I do stream. I don't know if they know I'm specifically streaming right now, but they do know I do stream. Uh, Gary Wolf's a little farmer cop and completely new to farming simulator. Your videos have made me want to get it, but is it this good for PS4? Yeah, yeah, this is all good for PS4. Everything we're talking about works for farming simulator 22 for PS4. Yep, because we're only it's all base game stuff. Uh, Fienor says, good morning, FC. Have you done any landscaping as of yet? Yes, I have, Fienor, and there's a really cool feature on there I can show you here in just a minute. Uh, can you delete existing buildings? Diesel, kind of. You can uh, delete some existing buildings on, like, the new farm areas, uh, but in general, you cannot. The 9RX? <laughs> You guys want to pull out the 9RX? Uh, we'll pull out the 9RX. Uh, we can do that. A little overkill, but we'll do it. The Buer. Oh, that's a good one too, Benjamin. Uh, so I'm, we can get into it, but I wouldn't want to drive it three miles an hour across the map. Let's open up the help menu. There's nothing over the help menu. Left mouse button to lift this up and down. I would assume there was a way to hook up to it. It doesn't look like it though. Huh. Well, there's a little hitch there. Let's try that. Maybe that's how you hook up to it. That makes sense. Case Puma Claus and the new 7200. I haven't pulled that one into the game yet. Okay, thank goodness you can haul it. Oh, thank goodness. I couldn't imagine driving this across a map at three miles an hour. All right, so theoretically speaking, this end should go right here. But how to get stuff into here is the question. I'm assuming... I don't know. We get this out of the way here. We can move it around from there. That's a big trade. We're going to see flying bales again. Hopefully not. Silo's empty. But what's the end point for it? This has got uh, a little bit of sorghum here. Let's go see if we can get an end point here. From the top? How do you get it from the top? You need the other auger on the shop too? Oh boy. We need the, uh... That's good to know. We need this guy as well then? Oh, this thing's huge. Yep, that makes sense. Okay, we'll buy that. And let's go pick that guy up. Well, you guys wanted to try. We'll try another tractor. We might as well. Um, the Buer, that was the second option I saw in there. Uh, but that'll be easier to find that by brand. Yeah, this guy ain't even going to pull it, is it? I love that tractor, though. Oh, no, get rid of that. We'll see if this guy pulls it. That thing is huge. That makes sense. That now makes sense. Uh, yeah, Diesel, we'll do a, a production. We'll do videos on every single production facility. Hopefully by the end of the week. I can raise it up. This thing's pulling it just fine. This thing's just a tank. Oh, that guy's going to hit us. That guy should slow down in time. Yep, he did. Okay. All right, beautiful. Uh, Cuffs, good to have you joining us, my friend. Okay, where was I doing? Oh, he's still going. All right, so, yep, there we go. If we get that all the way up, and we can turn that around. So if we put that out like that, this is super cool. 
I'm zooming out so we can actually see what's going on a little bit. Uh, Tim means how do I move a tree in construction? If you placed it, you should... I don't know, actually, if you can delete it. That's a great quick question we'll answer. Uh, if we go to landscaping and I put down a tree... I'm. Can you hit demolish? No, you can't. So be careful placing trees. You can't demolish them. Wow, that's kind of a lame thing. You have to now do forestry on it. I think that's what you have to do if you want a tree in there. That's something that should definitely be fixed. That's for sure. Okay, so... Let's try to unload now. Uh, no, I will do a gameplay series here, probably starting... Honestly, I probably won't start my gameplay series until after Thanksgiving. Because I've got so many tutorial videos I want to get done. Tip side's on back, okay. Actually, if we do tip side... Right side... Uh, left... Right, there we go, right side tip. Doesn't quite look right, but it is. Putting it, hopefully, into this silo. So there we go. That's how you put stuff into the silo. Matt says, hello, Farmer Cap and chat. Happy FS22 release day. Have you tried to cut any pine trees down yet? I have not. Yeah, Tim, yes, Tim, exactly. So watch out. Now, this guy can get up. Actually, that's a pretty high pipe. So you won't have any issues getting this into any trailers. But if we get this under the out point... Now we pull this guy under here. This should help us out. If you guys are just joining us, make sure you guys hit that like button. It does go to help support the channel a ton. There we go. That's all we got in here, so. And there we go, just like that. And I like the... Oop, what did I just do? I broke everything. There we go. I did like that animation over there. I was going to try to look at that. You see the auger was turning. That's super cool. So there we go. That's how to use that. Any other questions? Any other questions for the game or anything like that? We'll probably stream here for another at least another 30 minutes or so. Uh, Richard, I might eventually do one on the collectibles, but that's not my priority because most people are more worried about... Um, well, there's actually... You know what? There's a corn maze on this. Who knows where the corn maze is at? I don't know where it's at on this map. I would think it would be fairly obvious to find. Maybe not. Hmm. You wonder where the corn maze is? Could be there? Where am I at? Nope, that's just a big building. All right. I don't know where this corn maze is. Hmm. Top? Ryan says top, maybe. Like over here, top? Oh, I bet you that's it right there. Yep, I bet you that's it. Okay. That's pretty close. I bet you that's it. Brown part up north? So probably right up here, right? Yeah, that's what you're talking about. There's corn in it. That's got to. That's got to be the corn maze. Yeah, we're heading there. We're making progress. Low field eleven in the woods. Okay, there we go. So yeah, we're heading. That's got to be it. All right, let's head up there. We'll take a look at the corn maze real quick. Uh, is any advantages to the different farms? Uh, CGC type or chart in between the different maps? There's, I mean, it just kind of depends on what you want. There's advantages and disadvantages to the different ones. This is corn. Oh, here, this is the corn maze. Congrats, that's the exit. All right, well, let's go around to the front of it. Uh, yeah, cake juice. I'll go through production chains here in a second. Did I pass the entrance? Oh, yeah. There's a sign. Is that a sign? No, it's not. I haven't passed the entrance. It's probably up here at the top. All right, here we go. Or maze rules. No, no cussing. Remember the corn? 
has ears. No running in the maze. If lost, do not panic. A team of experts search the maze every other thirst every other Thursday. <laughs> Alright, so let's go. Uh so far we're not doing so good. Nope, that's not right. That's not right. Alright, let's try aiming that way, so let's try going this way. That led to a dead end. I feel good about this way. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, nope, that was a dead end. So if we go back around, I know I could run through it, theoretically speaking. If we go up this way, down this way, this is a longer maze than I thought this was going to be. Oh, that's all dead-ended. That's dead-ended. Down this way. Oh, that was a good jump there. We made some progress there. Oh, there's a collectible. There we go. I don't know where we're going now. Anyhow, so there's the core maze. Um, let's go ahead and, uh, yep, there we go. So the core maze, that looks awesome. Yeah, we would have been in there. We actually made it about halfway. We would have been in there for a couple hours, though, before I got my way out. But, yeah. Okay, so production chains. Um, someone had a question about productions. I had to fly to find my way. That makes sense, Trucker Matsy. Pure Fish again. Good to see you, my friend. You know, uh, Frost, you don't have the option to select the number of days? Should be able to go down to your selection down here and then right here, days per month. Should be able to change that up or down. That's where it should be. Found it. That's right, Birkin of here. We found it. Uh, but okay, production chains. We had a question about that. So, Production chains, very basic, very basic uh, thing here. So I have this, which you're not gonna be able to see, but this is just a overview. That's a terrible way to think about it. But yeah, so let me just give an example. All that production chains are, all you have to do. So if I have on here, on my map, we'll just jump down here to uh, the, saw, the sawmill. Where is the grain mill? Dairy cereal factory, grocery. Where is the grain mill? It's up over here, isn't it? Ah, grain mill. Yep, there we go. Go up there. So the grain mill, this is one of the simpler ones. So first off, you find a production plant. You can't buy the land. That's not how you buy them. That's not how you get access to it. You might be able to on some mats, but that's not how you get access to it. So you come up to it, um, and I'm going to actually get rid of my face because I want to show you guys up there. If I open up the help menu, if I come up over here. Oh, geez, I'm in flight mode. Never mind. Let me fix that real quick. All right. So I come up to it, up in the upper left-hand corner, hit R to buy it. If you can afford it, buy it, and you have it purchased. It serves as a sell point until you purchase it. Now it doesn't serve as a sell point anymore. Well, actually it might, I haven't checked all that. But it says materials missing, you can see down in the bottom right-hand corner. Now, if you come up to it right here, again, you can still, you can open the production menu and it'll take you down to your wheat flour. So um, all you have to do is you're, you can input wheat to get flour out. So again, these are your inputs, your outputs. Barley, input barley to get flour out. Oat, input oat to get flour out. Sorghum, input sorghum to get flour out. So that's all it really is. You're just inputting these products to get these out. It shows you the ratio. Uh, we have greenhouses. I actually have all the production plants placed that I own in here. So it just shows you all the different things that you're gonna take to put in to get different ratios of stuff out. Um, so that's basically just the rundown of how it all works. You're just putting in what you need to put in. You're putting in, in the, the inputs to get the outputs. And then the outputs might go to other inputs or you can sell them. So that's basically just a really quick rundown of how it works. Farmer Sparky says, can you use explosive? Um, I don't think you can. Uh, Dastardly Devil says, uh, did anyone on PS4 get their class vehicles from early order? Um, I don't know. Uh, Don Blender says, my settings have been on both high and very high. I'm still only getting 60 frames per second. Every other game I have runs at 100 plus. Uh, Don, I think you have to... So I'm only getting 60 as well, but you can unlock it using F3. I think you might have to enable the console commands to do that. I'm not sure. I'm not an expert in FPS, but you should be able to go faster than that. I uh, change the name of who owns something. Change the name of the save file. There you go. Andrew says, uh, can you mow or stump grind over those weed bushes? I remember they said something about that. Yeah, you should be able to. Um, if you go into the store here, which I can actually go back to that. If you go into the store here and you go under equipment under here. Nope, sorry, under here. Under forestry stuff. Where is it at? Where are we at here? Forestry, forestry equipment. 
these guys right here if you see up at the top they'll remove tree stumps and bushes so they should i haven't tested it but um they should remove both which actually you know what let's just go ahead and uh let's buy let's buy another tractor mm, what's a tractor we should buy let's see we can buy oh uh, sure i'll buy the the dwight's far there Now we should have, what land do we own down here? We don't own any, we own, the, oh, we own those around there at that edge of the field. So we'll go take a look at trying to take care of those, see if that will get rid of those. Uh, you can't, at least not now, crazy kid, not yet. So here's some bushes. Lower it down. Yeah, so not it actually makes adds a field in it looks like as well. But yeah, there it goes. So we just got rid of a bush. So there you go. It gets rid of bushes. Now I don't know if it'll get rid of a whole tree. Yep, it'll get rid of a whole tree. <laughs> uh, so there you go. Maybe. Well, I haven't gotten rid of it yet, but at least I knocked it down. There we go. I am slowly getting rid of it. So yeah, it just takes a little bit of work, but you can get rid of the tree. Yeah, there you go. So you can do all sorts of stuff now. That's pretty sweet. That's better than anticipated, that is. Uh, the DLC that comes with the Collector's Edition, you go to the Giants website and you enter those codes and that should allow you to download them. But yeah, there you go. So bushes, easy peasy. You do have fields now, but um, yeah, at least it works. Yeah, it basically gets rid of everything in its path, yeah. Can you uh, create a field with a spader or whatever it's called? Are you talking about... Uh, the only thing I know of that creates fields is going to be your plows and now the forestry grinders there. That's the only thing that I'm aware of. So plows here, though, will do the trick. Uh, but other than that, that's all I'm aware of that does any work on the field. So um, as far as everything goes, that's what I'm aware of. I am going to go grab a drink real quick. I'll be right back with you guys here. All right, I'm back. I went and grabbed a water, so we're good to go. Yeah, it asked for another code. There should be a code for the collector's edition. There should be a code for the equipment itself. That's on a piece of paper printed out in the collector's edition for you. Oh. Any other questions? Anyone got any other questions about anything? The stupid tree that we placed, we could grind it down now. Oh, we'll lift that back up.
Water, where's the coffee? I'm drinking too much coffee today. Now, can you limit this to... No, you can't. It will create fields no matter what you want. Ooh, it's not able to get this one. Yeah, I'm not able to get this tree at least. So maybe just smaller trees, potentially. How uh, do you rotate buildings? You hold the right mouse button and then just move the mouse around. <laughs> Marty, what is... <laughs> I have no idea. Tro says, do weeds work the same as an FS19? Uh, as far as I know, yes, they do, Tro. They should. Yeah, Eric, I agree with you on that. Uh, Neil says, is there any easy way to know what front loader will fit your tractor uh, for the ones that you start with? Yeah. So if we go in here, uh, well, actually, I don't, it doesn't show, does it? It doesn't show the, I was hoping it would show up, but there's not an easy way to show. But for example, um, these ones both can do front loader. This one, let's take a look at. This is 150, 200 horsepower. So you go under front loaders, you would want to use one that was for that range of horsepower. So, this one you could use right here. Um, or if you had the Howard attachment, you could use this one right here. And you probably wouldn't want to use a John Deere one or a Kloss one. But yeah, so just look at the horsepower requirements here. Or the horsepower range. That's the horsepower that they're wanting you to attach it to. Uh, but yeah. Uh, Crazy K, there's no AI course play. Um, the AI, as far as the AI helper go, is just to uh, uh, drive you up and down, the drive you around the map. You can have them take or go different places with buildings. But yeah. I'm working the demon. I probably won't install a mod right now because this doesn't seem necessary, but Any other questions on the, about the game in here? Oop, nope, hop out of there uh, but We can try let's actually try to do a, a harvesting or a contract just in general Because uh, you guys are having some issues with that. Let's do a fertilizing one's a very simple one. We will um, That one's a very Field 67 or field 4, which one's closer? Uh, field... 67 is down there. And field 4 is up there. So it doesn't matter. We'll do 67, I guess. Uh, let's go ahead and accept a contract. Oh, where's 42 at? 42 doesn't look like it would be that bad to do. Yeah, 42 is right there. Let's just accept 42. It's a lot closer. Um, contract wise, 42, we will borrow items. Okay, and it should show up at the top. Now, can you take multiple contracts? Uh, oh, it didn't let me. It just got rid of it. What if I accept it? Up the top. Oh, you can't take more than one job. Ooh, you just can't borrow equipment for more than one job. That is interesting. So there you go. That's a little bit of information there. Absolutely, Blue Fox. All right, let's buy some fertilizer for this thing. Solid fertilizer. Here we go. I love how fast the pallets fill now as well. There we go. Oh, Josh, you can borrow equipment for more than one contract? Interesting. Wonder why it didn't let me do that. If you have an attachment on a tractor, cedar plow, mower, and send a worker to that field, it will start with that work on that field. Yeah, that's right. We could do that, can't we? We could do that, actually. 42. I like that it's flashing. That's nice that it has that. Didn't used to do that, I don't believe. You just had to, you just had to know. Uh, Big C27, the servers are down right now, I believe. You can't load into FS20. Everyone else having that issue. There's a lot of issues going out, but uh, give, them time to, give them time to get everything squared away. Giants is working on trying to get everything fixed up. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and uh, nope. Let's let's just go in here. We'll have you 
Great job. We'll do field work. And we'll start. Oh, darn it. Um, try that again. Great job. Field work. There we go. All right, so you should go down there and start working. We'll see. Uh, Mark, yeah, we did find some deer. Mike, well, this is all I can find is Eater 25K and Fent 900 Vario Black Beauty codes. Uh, Mike, those are the only two codes that come with the uh, collector's edition. So those should be the only ones you have. Uh, Jim Williams says the number used to flash. I'm not sure what you mean by that. Mike Wilson is missing the Clossarian Traddle Pack code. Or, oh, the uh, Saddle Pack code. I don't think you get it with the Collector's Edition. I don't think it comes with the Collector's Edition. I could be wrong, but I don't think it co comes with the Collector's Edition. Uh, Zach says, I heard something about a multiple thing. Is that open to the public or just your YouTuber friends? That's open to everyone, Zach. We're, when we're, when we're going to be streaming later today on the multiplayer server, everyone that wants to join, console included, can join on there. So... Uh, yeah, anyone that wants to join can be on that. We'll see how this guy goes. Pretty good so far. Just waiting for this to download. What map would you recommend? Uh, Big J, I like the uh, Elm Creek map. Now, I did notice sometimes, too, if you see on here, the workers will do a little weird stuff like that, even on the road, so just be aware of that. Ross, I'm trying to see why I can't change the number of days and seasons. The option is literally not there. Weird. Yeah, I'm not sure what's up with that, unfortunately. Let's see if he will start. Yep, there he goes. He's working on it. He's thinking about it. Oh, interesting. Well, he's gonna he's gonna do it his way. We'll let him we'll let him keep working here for a second. I don't know what he thinks he's got going on. Okay, they have completed their task. Well, that didn't really work as expected. Go ahead and start fertilizing this bad boy. Now, I'm assuming on the contract screen, it will show us, yeah, progress down here. So we'll see if this all finishes out. It does say it's included. I'm not sure then how to get access to it, my friend. Because my, uh, I know that my uh, lecture's edition that I got did not have a code, a code for it. Uh, how do you sell the starter buildings? You just go into build mode, hit demolish, and click on them. And it will sell them off for you. Uh, Neil C., I'm not sure. I haven't done enough to have like what I would recommend for the best experience. I would say probably one to two day months. I would start off with one day months, see how you like it. If that feels too fast, move it up to two days and kind of go from there. If you guys are just joining us, make sure you guys hit that like button. It does go to help support the channel a ton. Yeah, Tro, the weeds did that in FS19 as well. They'd show up in an empty field, so that's fairly normal. They'll still show up in an empty field. Bryce says, nope, it has crop destruction under seasonal growth for me. Um, what is the order this uh, should be on there? Seasonal growth. It has crop destruction because it should have seasons, then have seasonal growth, days per month, fixed visual month, snow. This should what it should say right here for seasonal growth. If it doesn't say that, I'm not sure what the issues are there. Yeah, I felt the forklifts are so much better. The class saddle track for me was put in product key when prompted for the collector's edition. Okay, there you go. So that should be in there that way. I'm not actually using my collector's edition to play on. I'm using the key that Giant sent over. That makes sense here. I think, yeah, I didn't have a good approach angle. Got confused. That's probably true. You can't, in the store menu, I cannot get buildings. I have to hit L1 plus middle PS4 controller button to access buildings. I'm, yeah, I'm not sure as far as PS4 goes. Dave Debbie, the Storm says, AFC just started the FS22 Steam download. Can't wait. What type of mods, mods are you looking forward to seeing? Me? Well, anything case I hate I'm looking forward to F11. Uh, for sure, the F11, the easy development commands, all that good stuff. That's the stuff that I'm looking forward to, but yeah. 
Uh, yeah, Jacob, helpers can do contracts. I am doing a contract right now, and a helper is the one doing it. I'm not, I'm not touching the uh, keys at all. Uh, we're just testing to see if this actually will, this contract will actually work out the way it's supposed to. So we'll see. But any other questions before we get ready to wrap it up here, probably in the next 20 to 30 minutes or so. Uh, one mod I would recommend waiting for is Dibble. Yeah, I can't wait to have that one. As always, we get some of this weird... Actually, the trees didn't have that, so that's kind of good, but the buildings definitely have some of those issues there. Uh, Jan, I have no I have no nothing about PlayStation 4, my friend. I know nothing about it. Uh, Lay, says hi, Farmer Cup. Good to see you. Good to see you, Lay. Good to have you joining us. David says, PS4 can't change the length of months. It's torture. Here of a, a day one patch yet. Um, they probably will do a patch pretty quick, but it sounds like that's an issue. Uh, Aaron, I have no idea how to fix any of the issues. If you have an issue, the link uh, pinned in the chat, that will allow you to report issues to Giants. Thank you, Joss. Did you send it over Discord to me? I got to take a look. Oh, fantastic. There it is. Thank you, Joss, the man. Joss, maybe a modded silo that's multi fruit. I'm pumped. Thank you, Joss. That's awesome. I'll be using that. I needed that for my tutorials. All right, we're so close on that. How is it looking? Yeah, this is that. The missed little chunks up there, but getting it pretty quick. Oh, you're done, huh? And what I like, if you look up there, we should have some different functions on there. Should be able to, can we change anything there? Turn it off. There's no double, that's right, just for the uh, sprayers on there that's got the double application, stuff like that. Um, I have not headshot. I believe you have to put them on yourself. I don't believe it automatically fills. Is that contract close to getting done? They want you to do like almost the whole, I think they want you to do darn near the whole field. There it goes. There's another achievement unlocked. It's my first contract I've done. Um, so there we go, that's completed. So 5502, we can collect. So that contract worked fine for me. I made it, I made it OCD family. Thank you, Joss. They need to use selfies of FC as you a contract. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, Tim B says, uh, RIP can't use a tree harvester on trees you plant yourself. Oh man, that's not good. Or you says, Farmer Cop, can you show us everything about cows? Um, I'm going to do a video on that later on. Um, they're very similar to how they were in the past, quite honestly. It's almost the same as FS19. So I would say that for you. DJ Moose, good to see you, my friend. Uh, Trust says, I missed the wool pal by Miss Missy B. Yeah, that'll be nice to get those back out. Uh, Josh Aaron says, uh, do you pick up stones after harvest, before cultivating, or before planting? Uh, before planting. Do it before planting, is my understanding, is for that. And actually, do they have anything? Do they have a list anything in the, uh, field work section here? Let's see. Uh, cultivating, sowing, harvesting. Anything about stone picking? Use a plot, discard, or subsoil, or see a spader. Generate the ground, start going crops, keep in mind, implement woods. Nope, I don't see anything about that. Improving yield. Ooh, I bet you stones will be in here. Yeah, when cultivating and plowing your fields, there's always a possibility of stones being dug up. Be careful. Driving over them with your tools and vehicles as they can get damaged. Ooh. Uh, smaller stones can be removed with a roller. Bigger stones need to be collected. Um, use a stone picker to collect the stones on your fields and sell them to the debris, debris crusher. So... Um, you want to get those off your fields. I don't know as far as yield goes, but you do want, it looks like when cultivating and plowing, so you want to do it after cultivating plowing, so before seeding, because which would make sense, because this thing would, theoretically speaking, ruin your uh, seed bed a little bit. But yeah, so. Are there any major differences among the platforms? No. All the platforms as far as base game stuff is pretty much the same. Uh, FS fan says, good thing about cows now, they don't require silage. Uh, they didn't require silage before. Um, if you fed them T TMR, TMR does 100% of it. So I never fed my cows silage, really, because 
EMR does everything, so they never really required silage. Uh, Neil C says, do I need to plow and cultivate? Uh, no, you don't have to plow and cultivate is my understanding. I haven't gotten too far into all the new field workings in FS22 yet, but yeah. Uh, Josh says, do you sleep with the FS, the FS cap? No, I only wear it when I stream, actually. I take it off otherwise. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I don't want to wear it out like in public, not because I'm ashamed of it. I love it, but I'm scared. I don't want it to get dirty or anything. So I, I only wear it when I stream. It's a safe place for it. Uh, does rolling improve the yield or just, just, or just for rocks? Iceberg, great question, actually. I think, I think it'll add a, a state, but let's grab a roller. Uh, with the roller, you can improve the upper soil layer quality of your fields. I don't know if it adds a fertilizer state or not. Let's test it. Um, how much horsepower did that thing require? 160. Um, let's get the ARX. Sure, that'll be a fun one. Oh, it sounds so nice. All right. So we got to find a field that's going to meet the conditions we need to test this. So let's see. All right. So we need one of these fields that's not devil fertilized. One that's not right. So 41. 41. 41 is perfect. Okay. 41 is perzik for our test. Uh, Zeno, lots of tutorials have come out, my friend. I'm still having more tutorials to come out. Ooh, let's get out of this guy's way. Uh, yeah, it says you need to plow the entire map. I don't think it's, I don't know if it's a glitch or not. I don't think it is because in Giants, like on their uh, tutorial academy, whatever thing they have going on, they showed that on there. So I don't think it's a glitch. I think that's how it's supposed to be. I don't like it personally, but I think that's how it's supposed to be. Uh, Alex, see, I think they they removed it from. I think they're removing it from everyone, so don't feel too bad. The manual clutch. Yeah, make sure you guys hit that like button if you are just joining us. It does go to help support the channel a ton. Uh, Dalton, I think it's awesome. We got Mac trucks in there. Mac trucks in there. Uh, Cake juice, yeah, we're gonna be playing some farming center with fans later on today. If you guys want to join me on there, we'll be doing a multiplayer stream later on today. So. Yeah, we'll head down to 41 and see if this actually adds a uh, fertilizer state. Yeah, Trucker Matt says you can't use the manual clutch and controller. That's why they removed it, which makes sense to remove that since it wasn't going to work. Well, this thing's a lot wider than I thought it was. Anything growing on here? No, it should be just yep harvested. Well, we need to put, we need to plow it to get some beets in there, or or not some beets in there. We need to plow it to get some stuff to show up on there. Let's grab. I've always wanted to use the Russell match. I haven't used it yet. Get a big old front weight on there. I think twins will be good. That's by. Um. Buy a big old cultivator. I haven't tried a cultivator yet. Ooh, that thing needs a lot of horsepower. Ooh, well, of course we'll pull it. We'll pull the Rosso mash with the Rosso mash. That does seem logical. The six, I don't think I know I don't have I don't have it installed that would be great I have it well I have it installed I guess I don't have it selected <laughs> that would be fantastic Christian uh, says cultivators will bring up small stones that can damage your equipment Pong brings up big stones that can't be rolled there you go so we we'll want a cultivator then get this guy rolling along here we'll take a look at rocks this would be a good thing to look at Oop. 
You could have done this a lot faster. <laughs> I know I could have chucked your Matsy. You're so right, but it's okay. It's okay. Um. What is your favorite new tractor? That's a tough one. That's a tough one, Dalton. I, I really like this Rossa match, guys. Honestly, I'm, I was pretty excited to see this in there. I haven't used it a ton. That's why I wanted to use it. But yeah, I don't know. It's, that's that's uh, that's tricky. Daniel says, how do you have so much money already? Uh, Daniel, there's some money cheats out. There's also government subsidy installed, so you can have as much money as you want in the game. There's a government subsidy mod that's out by Giants, which is probably the easiest way to cheat money in. Um, or you can do what I did. I went to the actual XML of my game file, and I just added a bunch of money in my game file. So that's all I did for that. I just added a bunch of zeros onto it. Uh, but yeah. Oh, yeah, Zach. The new character customizations are awesome. Absolutely. Dr. Matt says, you can't store grapes. Maybe I'll drop them in the bulk store. That is very true. Except for my uh, Jost, does my silo hold grapes that you made me? Maybe I might have a multi-fruit silo made for me that might hold grapes. I haven't tried it yet, but uh... Daniel, I just answered your question, my friend. It takes me time. You have to remember, there's a there's a 20 second delay. Plus, I have to read all the comments, Daniel. So just give me give patience in there. I'm not avoiding your question. <laughs> How do I use a far top liner? Uh, we can take a look at that here in a second. Let me get some. Let me get. Let's, let's take a look at this first, and then we'll we'll take a look at that. So this should kick up some. Let's say we're not going anywhere. This should kick up some stones. Theoretically. With my luck, it's not going to do any of that. I don't see any stones getting kicked up. Theor theoretically, this should kick up stones. Of course, I'm not getting any. Yeah, well, yeah, Cameron, let me actually write that down. The, uh, the far top liner. We'll take this. So I'm going to keep a list here. That way I can answer that once we get down there. Do you know how to store honey and greenhouse goods? Uh, there's not really a way to store them other than just manually stacking them somewhere if you want them somewhere. Oh, he did do that and it didn't work. Weird. I'm hoping Joss is a superhero and he can make it happen. I don't see any rocks here. Hmm. I wonder. Well, anyhow. We can still see if this will add a fertilizer state by going over this. It does change the texture. Now, does it do anything over the other side if you went over this? So we'll just go up this way and we'll see if anything changes. So no, this does not add a fertilizer state. It only helps your yield as far as getting rid of rocks. So there you go. That is a good, good way to um, experiment with that stuff there. But yeah. So we can hire you to follow this guy might as well uh, i was curious does the fertility i was curious does the fertility ats i don't know what ats means or what you're talking about there joel uh more in the differences can you show us all the hay equipment and use and use a six r i won't show off all the hay equipment you guys know how hay equipment works in general but yeah uh yeah camera no problem my friend we'll get to the the far here in a second time should i be back for the stream cake juice we're doing it at 3 p.m pacific standard time so an hour and 20 minutes does further state have a have a what, Joel? Uh, Cuffs thirty three says so you never so you can never get count of what you have in storage on the price menu. Yeah, I don't know why it has that in there. It is interesting. I agree with you on that. But yeah, are most people playing with something like government say this for launch? Maybe I'm being silly trying to be sound realistic. Um, Chris O'Neill, I don't. I, I totally get what you're saying. I understand 100%. I would never play with the government subsidy or a money cheat mod in like a regular gameplay if I was just playing the game to play it. But here, since I'm just obviously experimenting and doing tutorials, I obviously just need money to be able to do my tutorial videos and stuff like that. So that's the only way, reason I use it. But yeah. Joker uh, <laughs> Mats is just different. Oh, yeah, whatever. You forget. A uh, quick rundown of hay equipment just to give you guys in case you did forget it. Um, actually, we can just go down to the packs. Uh, grass. So you'll mow the grass, leave it on the field. Then you will ted the grass, windrow it, bale it, or pick it up, and that's how you get hay. Just like that. 
Yeah, I like to play realistic too. I don't like to play, this isn't normal for me. This is just how I'm doing it for today to get tutorials and whatnot done, but yeah. Uh, okay, so the, uh, the far top liner. What is the far top liner? Go down to brands here. The far, what brand is it? Far top liner? What is that under? What is that thing even, what is that even, what is it? <laughs> I don't even know what it is. Um, we don't need to be doing this. This is just kind of a waste of our time. Oop, nope, hop out of there. As long as you're not digging any stones up, my friend. But anywho. Tucker Mancy. Scott says, do you know where all the collectible items are on the first map, FS22? I don't know where any of them are, really. I know I've found a couple, but that's it. Are you planning to use used equipment often? Yeah, I'll probably end up using it quite often when I do my gameplays and stuff like that. Yeah, no problem, Chris O'Neill. Christian says, fun money is good for a testing account. I don't use cheats in my uh, main account. Yep, that makes sense, Christian, exactly. DJ Moose says, what harvesting 150 miles an hour is realistic? Uh, what kind of snow equipment is there, Jacob? We can take a look at that. Uh, Dwight's the top liner. Oh, yeah, gotcha, 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 yeah. Are you talking about, oh, that's right, you're talking about, um, this guy right here. Is this what you're talking about right here? The Dwight's far, that makes sense, the far top liner. Okay, yeah, 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 that makes sense, of course. Um, yeah, so, as far as how this works, it just works like any other harvester. This is actually the one you'll start the game off, um, so it works the same as any other harvester. Very, very, very easy. Uh, Wolvie, there's nowhere you really can store raisins other than at your, uh, production facility. Uh, does the cultivator have a built-in roller? Um, that one does not. Um, I don't know if any of the others do. Check if stones are turned on. Oh, good question. Good question. Are stones turned on? That's a great point. Um, I don't know if they are or not. Field stone, they're off. Well, there you go. We'll get stones now. Let's try that experiment again, now that we know what we're doing. Well, know what we're doing is a, uh, is a bit of a stretch. So now we will get stones, theoretically. Potentially. Maybe not. Still not seeing any, which we should have gotten at least some by now. But, okay, anyhow. Yeah, there should have been, those should have been on. Save that. Yeah. On trees yield they grow? Uh, no, it, Joel, it won't have any effect on a tree's yield. There you go, Chris Warren. This is Mr. The P just dropped a video on cows. There you go. Uh, Kyle says, hey, Farmer Cup. Good to see you, Kyle. Elliot says, it's great when you pre-order a game from GameStop. Nobody has it today. Guess six dollars on the train. Get it digital. Well, hopefully they get your money back at least. Uh, Friday says, mine, it's seasonal growth, crop destruction, periodic pong, field stone. I reported it as a bug. Oh, gotcha. Uh, Trigger Matt says, I'm curious how bad my FPS would be with building full of pallets like a warehouse. Yeah, that'd be interesting to see. Oh, shallow car. So I'm thinking of bringing up. Okay, fair enough. LTB, that actually makes sense. I haven't, again, I haven't tested a lot of the field growth stuff yet, so I haven't gotten too deep into that. I've been focusing on animals and other stuff, but yeah. Uh, you need to plow to get stones. Yeah, you either need to plow or cultivate. You can do the deeper cultivators. Uh, LTV up saying we have the, a shallow one, but you can do a, a deeper one to get them. Because I've gotten them with a cultivator before. Uh, Christian says, uh, Chris, the cow's all right. Uh, but yeah, so any uh, final questions for wrap of the stream? I think we will get ready to wrap up here. Any final questions for you guys today? Any final questions? Uh, Packer Games says, hi, good to see you, Packer Games. Josh says, you'll let Tracker Matsy you know if he gets grapes in. Sweet. All right, any final questions for anybody? Any final questions before we wrap it up? Scoop rocks off fields of the bucket. Um, you can't, you have to use a, you have to use one of the rock rollers. Is the game easier to play on PC or console? I'm, I, that's kind of up to uh, personal preference. For me, it's PC. I wouldn't be able to do it on console because I don't, one, I don't have a console and two, I don't enjoy console gaming. Um, will you do some Let's Play videos soon? Yes, Chris, probably starting next week. I don't see any so far, but might be missing something. Yeah, I haven't done any yet. I'm gonna try to get my tutorials done and then we'll do a mix of Let's Play and uh, tutorials. Uh, what sheds do you recommend? I don't really have a recommendation. It's kind of just whatever works for you. Uh, oh, Cameron says the far top liner trailer. Oh, the trailer. We're talking about the trailer. Let's take a look at that. Um, Actually, we can just, this will be easier. Now that I know that I'm gonna look into the correct brand. 
Uh, the top 149 trailer, as far as how it works, you should just be able to detach just like an FS-19. should be able to just detach, at least that's what I did, is detach over the top of it. So have it on the harvester, which we can just do it real quick. We might as well, we'll just buy it, all the stuff. Uh, Dave, you can plow or cultivate. You don't have to plow to get stones. I have gotten stones cultivating before. Here we go. Okay, so where's our header trailer? Of course, it's up over there. The bale on the way. So you want to load from this side. You see how the, the ramps are kind of angled on that? So look out here. This is the side, you see how that kind of angles up? This is the side you want to load on. Not like this, but I'm moving that hay bale out of my way. And run over that seed pallet, get that out of our way. There we go. Okay, so now you should be able to just come up just like this I think I chucked it a little too far move it back just a little bit there we go just like that and you got her on the header trailer and you see that it just snapped into place like that that's what it's supposed to do just like that so it should lock it a lot easier I don't think you'll knock it off as easily yeah just like that see it's not knocking off which is much better than FS 19 uh, and Eddie, how much horses will make? I have no idea yet. Uh, Chris, I got here late. Good times, so folks. Thanks again for absolutely. Randall says, hey, notice there's a bug with the missions. I wasn't able to borrow equipment or any for any harvesting. Yeah, there's a few bugs out there. Um, they're trying to get them uh, fixed as fast as possible. I think the headers now snap. Yep, they do, buddy. Yep, as we just did there. But uh, yeah, Jacob says, do you play at the wheel? I do not. Jason says, uh, does the in-game GD4745 tractor have a US-style mudguard option? Uh, we can check that uh yeah g h i j john deere 4755 uh nope it does not there's no mud mud guard options on there so that's what you got but all right i think that's where we'll go ahead and wrap it up thank you guys for coming uh, i'll see you guys in here in just uh just over an hour to hop on hopefully as long as the servers are working uh, we will do a multiplayer gameplay of some kind so um, that'll be fun to do that. So I'll see you guys then. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this stream, uh, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cup channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos that I may post. This has been Farmer Cup. Thank you guys for coming and for watching.